the precise cuts of the stone blocks have resulted in many theories on achieving this. Some historians speculate that Egyptians used the surface of the water to get a clean line and that working on the stone underwater made it easier to manipulate. Others believe that the ancient Egyptians used wooden levels, string, or even paint to measure the angles. As to what tools they might have used, no drills or saws have survived, so historians must also speculate about this aspect of the build. Copper alloy saws and drills would have worn away too quickly if used to cut granite, so the ancient Egyptians must have had a way to make them viable. British Egyptologist Dennis Stocks conducted some experiments by adding quartz sand between the cutting edges of the granite and the drill to provide more bite. His method was effective and practical, as no special attachments would be needed, and desert sand was a plentiful resource.